just make a start. Even if you say, I'm going to take three minutes, be fully in that three minutes, and you'll see it will give you eternity, if you can do it. If you say, I'm going to wait for the outer circumstances to be solved and to be resolved, the mind will just keep hitchhiking from situation to situation. But if you only have a minute, take that minute and really be, really take it. Just take that minute and let let go of minutes and time. Just be, you know. And if it feels the minute is up, you didn't quite succeed, take another minute. Take another minute because that minute, given the level of respect, of, which means your attention to yourself, not to figuring out problems, just to pay attention even to the sense I am, to the sense of presence, to acknowledge presence, and don't combine it with any other thought. Please listen to what I'm speaking. If only you do that for one minute, say, just to pay attention just to presence, Already you begin to feel the waters of the self coming. You already begin to feel. You say, whoa, whoa. Because the mind will hide that. We say, one minute is not enough. Five minutes is not enough. You need to, you need to go on holiday and make all this big epic, which you cannot do. Take one minute. Take one minute and sit. For, put the clock. Put one minute and just forget about the minute. Let the clock remind you. And just let go and just be aware. But I am here. Uh, don't associate with anything. There's an I am, the vibration of I am is here without attaching to any thought. Because thought appears, you can engage or not, but just pay attention to whether engage or not, the I am presence, which is your way of knowing that you exist without anyone telling you. Just pay attention to that. And keep doing that until you find that somehow this, this, the bliss begins to come. The bliss of being. It comes from within you. It's like it's been almost like it's locked, but it's not. It's just there. It's just that your attention goes somewhere else, and that attention going somewhere else is eclipsing your your natural beingness, you see. So as you sit, even for a minute, you begin to feel again, oh, this peace is coming back. It's like the blood start to flow again, the blood of being. It's like oh, and keep Give another minute. Afford one more minute to sit with them. Take a minute at a time and see what happens. A minute at a time return you to timeless. A minute at a time will return you to timeless. It's a something that speaks from within you. It cannot come from without. It's from within. You see, it's your self contained. You sit with that and you begin to feel. And when you begin to recognize, nothing in the world can give this to you. Nothing in the world can give this to you, because it gave all things in the world. But it started here, in the root, the feeling, I exist, I am. Pay attention to this. Just keep paying attention to it. It seemed almost too simple, maybe even like a naive advice to you. How oh, can anybody work with that? No, no, sit with it. It is the, the it is the miracle of God. Just be with it. You know, thinking wants to come in to say, yeah, now you got it, and now this, and to make all this commentary. Be aware of that, and just okay, just keep because you can. You are the master in your heart. You can just keep taking your attention back to put it here. You deserve a minute of the day for yourself. Put them there, and then if you enjoy, extend. Try extend. It's okay, and you see, at a certain point, even to say, just give a minute, and then come back and say, okay, can I have another minute? Mm. Okay, one more minute. If you were like that, if you had to come to me and say, can I have another minute, Oji? I say, uh, how do you do the last one? I say, I was kidding. Okay, I give you one more. Put you on the clock. You will use that minute. Yeah, but if you give it to yourself, I think a minute. Start to see cappuccino. Uh, cappuccino. Maybe I come back. Have a cappuccino. This is how mind is. It multiplies itself. But you just sit like that one minute and feel it. Really, one minute. See if you can really have a minute.
Because sometimes your mind will not even give you a minute if you're going to look to him to give you the minute. Don't let the minute be a gift from your mind. Just take him. Just say here. And he, then you may see, you know, something is just stop, trying to stop you from even one minute. Like one minute just feels like an eternity. Oh, it's like he cannot give you one minute. He's gonna put a hamburger in there. He's gonna start put some chips. He's gonna put like a coffee. He's gonna put like a time. He's gonna put something, and just watch him. Then you know, you know what has been your struggle. But you keep doing this, and you'll feel the power coming back. You'll feel the power again. Flower. It's all. It's there already. But you start to feel it's manifesting. Because we are suffering from the manifesting, not from the unmanifest. Then you feel the power, the darshan of the unmanifest is coming back in you. And you see after that, because it's almost like the mind is trying to stop you from just even this, because it knows what power is in you. This is the play, it's the Maya. And just like that, as you begin to have the taste, the nectar, the nectar, the amrit, when you begin to taste that again, it's you're already falling in love. You're falling in love. But you're not falling down, you're falling up. You see? Into the very heart of awareness, you see. You you know it. It's like nothing, nothing. It's like this world like it's like the Maya, it's like the Shatan. It will give you everything. You have get everything because it's the game. Always know that the Supreme is above all things and take everything as a gift, as an opportunity. But you take this thing, you see, and you start to feel again it's flowing inside you again. And you start to fall in love again. With the one thing that can never leave you, but you missed it. You keep missing it. I'm telling you something which is right now attainable to you. I'm not telling you go on a course for six months and then come back. No, right now. We are going to finish that song in a moment. I say, sit right now with yourself. Sit a little bit. Spend a good ten minutes. Sit down and just see if you can give yourself one minute for you without you. You understand? You without you. You without your agenda and your projections, so on. Just stay sitting as beingness. Be aware. You see, watch the mind. Say, and don't keep going. Oh no, my mind. No, don't keep reacting. Even what is okay. Just each time, just keep coming back into this empty space of being. And I like to say that, so that the next time I see you, which I hope at some point I will do, okay, I'll be able to tell just by looking at you. I'll be able to tell just by looking at you. Because there's something in us, that light of pure divine consciousness, that is somehow being, you know, as though there's a veil of mind in front of it. Like you're elsewhere. Look at you and you're elsewhere. You're elsewhere. We're always elsewhere into something, next thing, another projection, so on. Let me see your original face. Your timeless face. Don't try to show me. <laughs> Don't try to show me because I know him also. Okay? Forget about him. Just be with yourself like that. Just be with yourself and see. I'm speaking about facts, not about fiction. You sit and do this as often as you can. Take a moment to yourself and just sit. And just be clear. Just to be clear. At least I'm not. Doesn't matter if inside is going. Zh, 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 if the body zh, 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 doesn't matter. That doesn't mean you're not yourself. Actually, nothing means you're not yourself. Nothing that is shown from the mind means okay. Now I've lost it. That's a thought. You bought it. You bought it, and you now are believing it into existence and become operation for you. If you didn't buy any thought at all, just feel them. Let them feel. Let them happen. But know that you are without you, they cannot even manifest because you are the weakness of them. With this, with this, with this, you are securing your place in the infinite. What do I tell you? Don't be a victim of time and the mind. 
This is the trick of this life. It's like you're tricked out of your eternity, which is which is not true. It cannot be. But you're missing out on the glory of God within you. Hmm. So I'm not going to say anything more now. I'm going to leave it like this. As I said earlier, when you can bear and be the silence you are, you are in the taste of freedom. So this you do. Thank you. Thank you.